Hello beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Julie and if you like makeup tutorials, makeup reviews, makeup hauls, first impressions videos, and all things beauty, then you've come to the right channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be demonstrating products that I'm recommending for the Sephora saving event. The Sephora savings event is gonna be starting on October 27th. The first tier that's available to shop will be the Sephora VIB Rouge. I don't even know if they call it all of that because it just says Rouge, but it used to be the Sephora VIB Rouge. You will be able to shop the wholesale, which is from 1027 to 116. Also, they will have the full Sephora collection on sale the entire sale and everyone is allowed to purchase anything from the Sephora collection throughout the entire sale and you'll receive 30% off. From 10.31 to 11.6, the Sephora VIBs are allowed to shop and they will be receiving 15% during the sale. And also the 30%, like I said, is throughout the whole sale. Then you have from October 31st to, so wait a minute now, cause I'm looking at this. Before they used to break it up where each tier had a certain amount of days to shop, but now it looks like from the 31st to the 6th, the VIB and the insiders are allowed to receive 15% if you are VIB, and 10% if you are insider. And that is from 1031 to 11.6. So anyway guys, I just wanted to break that down for you, how the tiers work and who's allowed to shop during what date. So I'm gonna be demonstrating for you some of the products that I am recommending for the sale. Hopefully this is something that you guys are interested in seeing and you will stay tuned for the complete video. If you've been to this channel before and you haven't subscribed and you're back again, that means we have some kind of connection. So please, please subscribe to the channel. I would love it if you would do so. It would definitely help out the channel. I'm gonna get started guys. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the brows. So I have this Too Faced Super Fine Brow Detailer in the color Espresso. This is one of my favorite high-end brow pencils. It's a very creamy formula and it's very pigmented. It goes on beautifully and I just really love this. Like if I have to select a pencil, it would definitely be this one. Like I like other pencils, but this one is like my favorite. I just love the whole component and I love the product that's inside. And it's just very easy to apply and it's long wearing. Of course you need to really put something on it because if you wipe it off, it will come off. It doesn't like dry down or anything like that. It's one of my favorite brow products. Like there are others that I like, but this one is one that I would reach for quite often. And I'm looking into the mirror as I'm talking to you. Cause I don't want this video to be super long. I'm gonna be using products from every category that I'm gonna be recommending. So I want to get through this. So this is not like a straight point. It's not like a round fine point. It's actually a longer point. And I think that's what makes it so good because you have a lot of these pencils, they actually have this kind of tip. And if you go with it too hard, it'll break right off. The good thing about this point on this brow, super fine brow detailer, you see how it's like elongated. So you can press and you don't have to worry about it breaking like that. You have less of a chance of it breaking than if you have one of those microfine straight points. And I think that's one of the things that makes this pencil so, so good. If you can, you can be a little heavy handed or you can be light handed and it's gonna work. So that's the good thing. My skin is oily, plus I put serum and moisturizer on so, but I did put a little brow glue on it to keep the brows in place. I won't talk about the glue, but I will put it in the description box because it's actually a more affordable product and we're talking about products that you can get at Sephora. Okay, so I'm going to go into this concealer. This is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is, that's what it looks like. And this is the color Chai. I'm gonna take a little bit of this concealer on the back of my hand to carve out my brows. That's what the color looks like. This is one of my favorite full coverage concealers. It's nice. It's something that I would always come back to. The texture, the consistency, it's just wonderful. And it's not going anywhere. It's a very thick, creamy formula. I like to do a video demonstrating the products that I'm gonna be recommending to you guys because I want you to see that these are products that I actually 
use. These are products that I reach for more than not. I'm gonna blend this out. I'm gonna bring it down onto the lid. Something is wrong with this, this eyelid. It's like my skin is peeling. Yeah, I don't know if it's because of the weather, but my skin is peeling. So I'm gonna go in with um, this Laura Mercier translucent powder to set the lid, because we don't want it to go anywhere. And this brush is a Sephora number 57 brush. I like it for, for blending out my concealer on my face and actually on my eyes. Yeah, I just wanna set this with a little bit of this. This is the medium brown powder. This should make everything go a little bit smoother when I'm putting on the shadows. Yeah, so this palette that I'm using today is the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate palette. Only because I purchased it and I never got a chance to even look at it until today. <laughs> I didn't, I was like, oh, I'm gonna use that because it looks like a nice full palette. So it's actually this lid that is a little textured. You see that? I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was something that I put on it the other day or if it's the weather. This is the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate eyeshadow palette. Isn't it gorgeous? It comes with 18 shades. It smells like chocolate and the colors are very pretty. It's a very nice full palette. So we're gonna just do something nice and basic just so we can get through the video. We don't wanna go too crazy with anything. I'm gonna take this brush, which is the Sigma E25 blending brush, and I'm gonna go into this color called Brownie Points and put that in the crease as my transition color. I don't know how pigmented it is or anything like that. Like I really have not used this palette at all, but I just thought it would be nice to try it. Yeah, I don't know what is going on with this eye. I know you can see it. This color is pretty. The pigment is nice. I have quite a few palettes from Too Faced, and I always say I'm gonna bring them out and use them. And I just don't, I just don't really get around to doing it. I'm gonna use this brush right here, the Morphe M513, and just blend out that color. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go into this color right here called Bless Your Tart. <laughs> That's cute, Bless Your Tart. just to give a little depth and variation in the browns. This is a little deeper and more on the cooler side. I'm going back to that same brush and just blending it out. This one is the MAC 222 brush. I'm gonna go in one more time and just build this color up a little bit. I'm gonna bring it down on the side over here. And we're gonna go back in this brush and blend this out. Okay, so this is the Morphe M441. I'm gonna go into this. Let's try this deeper color right here, that deeper brown. That one is called Brownie Points. So wait, okay, no, the first one was called Cake My Day, which was the lightest color that we put on, and the <laughs> the darker one that we're using right now is called Brownie Points. Okay, this one is very deep and more on the, it's warm, but it's like a deep warm brown, M4, M513, and just blend that out. Yeah, I'm not gonna do a cut crease or anything like that because we're not trying to do all of that today. That's for another video. This is just showing how these colors blend together and how it's a nice full palette. I'm gonna go into this color called Skinny Dip and I'm gonna use this Smith 235 brush. This is the color Skinny Dip right here. We're gonna put that on. I guess we're doing a nice bronzy look today. Very pretty. I can't believe what is going on with my eye. It smells so chocolatey. Like it will make you hungry. That's how good it smells. I'm gonna go in with this brush right here, which is the Sigma E25 blending brush and just blend out this shadow. I'm going back into this dark brown. I think I came too far over with that bronzy color. Anyway, I finished my eyes because I don't want this video to be super, super long. I used a lot of colors. I put my lashes on. Let me show you what colors I used. So I used these three browns. This one, this one, this one. I put this one on the brow bone and then I put this kind of burnt orange and this gold on my eyes. So that's what we have. So I'm gonna go into the primer next, which is the Huda Beauty Water Jelly. I actually 
really like this primer. I had it for a minute and I opened it recently when I did a full face of Huda Beauty and I've been using it ever since. It's actually a really good primer. It keeps the skin smooth and it makes your makeup last long. I really enjoy it. I don't know if you guys have tried this, but it's a good primer. So I definitely would recommend it. It gets a little tacky after a while, but it's like, it comes out very liquidy, like a gel. You know, it's like a jelly. It definitely does what it needs to do for the makeup. I wanna give the primer a few minutes to settle in. So this is what we're gonna be using, the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. It's a one ounce product. I have it in the color 6W1 Ganache. This is the bottle, very sleek. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Laura Mercier foundations. That's what the color looks like. It's a little liquidy. I wanna put one more pump just to be on the safe side. I've tried a few of her foundations and I've been very impressed. I'm working on my skin, guys. I don't know what is going on with my skin, but I'm changing my eating. I have breakouts everywhere. I don't know if it's from trying so many different products. I clean my face, I mask it, I do all kinds of stuff. I don't know what is going on, but hopefully over these next couple of weeks, it'll get better. So we're gonna try this foundation. I'm gonna start in here with it. It has like a, a oily, you can definitely feel oil in it. When you put it on, it's definitely feeling like an oil-based kind of formula. It's not a watery texture. Now, I never used this primer with this foundation, and I just got finished telling you how wonderful the primer was. Let's see. I have so much hyperpigmentation under my neck. I'm trying to get better. Every month, I say I'm not going to pick it anymore, and then what happens? I pick it again. <laughs> so, it's not good. Yeah, it goes in the skin beautifully, and the coverage is really nice. This foundation is a long wearing foundation that blurs the line between makeup and skin to reveal a healthier looking complexion. This skin loving formula provides perfecting medium buildable coverage so weightless that you will forget that you're wearing anything at all. Once it goes on, like you don't feel that it's there, but it's just going on. Like you could feel, you know how sometimes when you put a foundation on, you can tell if it's more like a water-based foundation or if it is a oil base, or maybe it's like a silicone base. You can definitely feel something. It may be silicone, it may be a little bit of oil. I really do feel something. And I think it's a oil, yeah. I think it's more a oil base. It blends into the skin very nice and this color, to me, I, I love the color. I think it looks good on my complexion and they have quite a bit of colors. They have a few that are darker than me. I think it's like three shades that might be darker than mine. And I really enjoy this foundation. It's blended, it looks really good. We're gonna go into our concealers now. I have a few different concealers that I like. I think I'm gonna do the Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer. It's an illuminating, smoothing concealer and I have it in, I think like five different colors. I'm gonna put this one on first. This one is Honey Ground. It's a very serum-y feel. It actually reminds me a lot of the way the House Labs concealer feels going on. And it's so weird because I haven't tried this in a minute because I've been using the Makeup by Mario and the House Labs, but it definitely has that same serum-y kind of feel, which is not a bad thing. I really like this concealer. And I liked it a lot over the summer with the skin tints. Like it really was nice with them. It's a very thin base. It's not as thick as the House Labs, but it feels good. I really like it. And it smells very similar. The formulas are probably close because it has that same kind of slip to it. I'm gonna let it dry just a few seconds. I'm gonna put my cream bronzer on while I am waiting for it to dry down a little bit. This has like a tingly kind of feel, like there's definitely something in it. I don't know what, but it's something tingly in it. Some kind of skincare that's a little tingly. I really like this Charlotte Tilbury, the Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer in Deep Four. I'm gonna use my favorite brush for bronzing, which is the Morphe V106 brush. This is the color. I'm just gonna put some of this bronzer on my cheek area. What happens is they come out with so many new products that you forget what your favorites are, like what you reach for on a regular basis or like, you know, when you're going on a vacation or something, what you would pack. So this is really one of my favorites. At first when this came out, I didn't like it. I was like, I, for, I couldn't figure out which color was my color. 
the three or the four. The three didn't really show up. This one was kind of dark, but it's actually good when you blend it in. Have you guys tried any of these bronzers? The powder one was my favorite also. Like I love that powder one. It really showed up on my complexion. So I really like it. I still like it, but I probably recommended it before. And it's still a love of mine. So if you see something in this video that I had in one of my last hauls, it wasn't because I don't like it. It's just that, you know, you don't want to keep talking about the same products when so much new stuff comes out. And sometimes you find something that you really, really love. So I'm happy with this cream bronzer. I'm going to go in with this Morphe E8 and start blending this out. See how I let it sit for a minute and it still gives a nice color payoff. It blends in nicely. It blends in very nice. And it gives a nice amount of coverage. It really does. Whatever's in it, like I love the smell of this and the house labs. I bet you like they're made in the same lab because they feel very close in formula. And if any of you guys have these two products that I'm talking about, the house labs and this one, drop me a comment in the comment section and let me know if you think that they actually feel alike and they smell alike. And this one was out first, but it definitely has that kind of I don't even know what it is, but it just smells so good. Look how that just blends in. A lot of people didn't like this concealer, but I loved it. I really did. I think it's nice. Look how smooth it is under the eyes. It gives a nice amount of coverage. Very pretty. I think I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade, which is called Ginger Snap. I just give it a little brightness in here. I'm going back into the bronzer. I wanna put a little more bronzer on. I think this color is perfect. I'm gonna take this foundation brush and just go around it to blend it in a little bit. Okay, we're gonna set the under eyes because my under eyes will crease. So I'm gonna go into my trusty favorite Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in Dark 3. That is my favorite. And <laughs> if you guys have been watching my videos, you know I found a dupe for this. I keep saying I'm gonna do a video of dupes. I think I will put one together. My version of what a dupe is for certain products. So I'll add that to the list. I didn't want it to be like just regular like the same ones that everybody else put in a video that we know are dupes for certain things. You know some stuff is just so everything is the same except for the name. Skin looks gorgeous. It really really does. Okay so I'm going to go into the powder to set my face. I have this Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder. I actually have it in four shades, and I know we're gonna use at least two of them. Today, this is 2.5. I'm gonna set all of the places that I put concealer. This is a really good powder. This color is 2.5, and this is what it looks like. I love the color. It's not too yellow, but it, it perfectly goes into the skin. This color is very, very nice. I'm gonna go into color number three, only because the difference between number four and number three is a lot. And I don't know if I wanna go that deep. Okay, I'm gonna use number four. That's what it looks like. It's a pretty chocolatey color. It's like a reddish brown, but it's so pretty. And it's so smooth, like it makes the skin so smooth. Look at how gorgeous the skin looks. It looks very smooth and nicely set. I'm gonna use this Sephora. This is their matte powder foundation in the color 568N, which is neutral. So I'm gonna take this and just tap it into my skin to bring everything to one color. This is one of the products that's gonna be 30% off. And it's actually a powder foundation. I just never, I never used it as a powder foundation because I don't usually like powder foundations. Okay, just look how pretty that skin looks without spraying it. It's very smooth. The color is gorgeous. Those powders work really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Vanessa Myrick Set It and Forever Mist Oil Control Setting Spray because I really do love this setting spray. It really controls the oil and it leaves a matte finish. Sometimes it's a little too matte, but yeah. 
so look how beautiful the skin looks like it looks so so good of course i'm gonna have to touch my brows up i already see it because i didn't put brow gel on it after i was finished okay so i'm gonna go into one of my favorite bronzers actually it's this nars bronzer this nars laguna 8 bronzer i love it it's so good it's so so good that's what it looks like and i have a larger one i haven't opened it yet because i bought this smaller one as a test during the last sale and i was like let me see if i'm gonna like this like i don't want to spend full price on one that i'm not really gonna like like is it gonna really show up and i loved it i loved it from day one so yeah this is a gorgeous bronzer it gives you the perfect amount of bronze to your skin you see that you see the difference that it made it's really a good color and they have eight shades because this is number eight this is the darkest one but i was okay with it being the darkest one because it worked and to me like yeah this is number eight they could come out with a little bit darker and maybe they will but this is so good and i'm gonna take my favorite contour brush from makeup by ariel and contour my nose Oh, very nice. I feel like it could be a little bit darker. I'll put this makeup by Mario Mocha Glow on my lips. It feels good. I just don't, although I love the product, I won't buy it again. It's so soft. Like it's so soft. But I'm thinking about giving the the ones that come in like a gloss tube another chance. Because I went to Sephora finally yesterday. <laughs> and I was able to, I was able to swatch it. And I was like, hmm, it's not too bad. So, I don't know. It might be a few of them in my cart because when I tried them before, I don't know. Sometimes I have to be in a certain mood to try makeup. And I don't know, like it didn't do anything for me before. But now when I swatched it, it had more color payoff than I remembered. I was like, oh, it's not that bad. This is more of a neutral color. It's not real yellowy. It's got like a kind of orangey beige, but it works well with the deeper skin tones because it doesn't give it like an ashy look. It's very warm and that's what I like about it. I was looking at my thumbnail and some of them I have like, you know, the same color shirts on, right? A lot of times when I'm filming, like I have tank tops and stuff that I purchased just to film in because makeup gets everywhere. And I was like, wow, I hope they don't think that, that I don't have clothes because she's like always wearing the same stuff. It is the same stuff. I try to like space it out or whatever, but you can't put makeup on with your clothes on all the time because it will sometimes stain your clothes. So I'm not gonna do my makeup with my good clothes. And sometimes if I'm just trying out makeup, I'm not even going out the house so i have my tank tops and my bodysuits that i film with so yeah i was like how many times you gonna wear <laughs> that brown shirt okay so this makeup is looking really good so far like i love the way everything is looking so far the skin is looking smooth look at it on both sides the under eyes are looking really really nice it's not too dry because this is like a moisturizing and illuminating kind of concealer so i really really like that i did not do under the eyes that's what i need to do let me do that <laughs> let me do under the eyes i'm just gonna go in and smoke it out with one of the brushes that i had already with like the brown color on it like i have everything out on this desk because i'm gonna be filming like two other videos or at least one other video i'm gonna take this brown and this brown and just go under All right, I'm gonna use this House Labs Matte Beige Optic Intensity Echo Liner for my waterline. I usually lift up my, my head when I feel my eyes tearing. I love this color. This is Beige Matte, and it also stays on all day. Okay, so I really wanted to use my Fenty Hella Thick, but I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Foundation for my lower lashes, because I like both of them. This is what I'm using today.
when you have little baby lashes like I have, it's hard to really fall in love with a mascara because it's not the mascara's fault. You just don't have the lashes. Okay, so I'm loving this makeup so far. I think it looks really, really good. I'm gonna go into one of the one size blushes. This one right here is one of my favorites. Wretch Batch. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna try this one today because I feel like it'll match really nice with what we got going on without being too overpowering. So I'm gonna use this middle color and just, yeah. You see how pigmented that is? I didn't even realize it was gonna be like that. We don't want too much blush on today. Not not that I don't want, okay, let me not say that. I do want blush, but I don't want it to be overpowering, and I want it to blend in nicely. It looks so pretty. This color looks gorgeous. Do you see that, how pretty that is? Okay, so yeah, this is one of my favorites by him. I just really, really like it, so pretty yeah and I think that what I will do is take a little bit of the shimmer this and let's just see what it looks like if we put it here just to give it yeah I like that very nice see how pretty that is and look at the cheeks look at how it's not accentuating the pores which is what we want that's gorgeous I'm gonna put a little bit here. Now this cheek is a little more textured than the other one, but I feel like I wanna put like another peachy kind of color on, but I don't have like a peachy blush that I wanna showcase. I'm gonna try this Dior Rosy Glow blush and see if it does anything to make me change my opinion about it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's see. We can blend that in. Just give it a little dimension. Like sometimes I, I don't want just one color blush. Okay, so this is the color Coral. Nice. Okay, I'm still gonna put highlighter on because that's just me. I'm not gonna put a lot on, but I'm gonna put some highlighter on. We're gonna do Fire Opal because it matches the eyes very nicely. It's just enough. We don't have to go crazy with the highlighter because you know me. I've been toning it down a lot, but I always feel like my makeup look is not complete if I don't have a little bit of highlighter on. That's just my opinion. Brush this off. I'm gonna stamp this in because we want it to be known that it was there. This color is so pretty. See that little circle at the top? What happened there? I'm gonna spray again with this Vanessa Myricks. Set it and forget it setting spray. So if you guys have made it this far in the video and you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and also let me know if you guys have tried any of these products. Like have you used the foundation, the blush, the bronzer, just anything. Leave me a comment and let me know. I'm going to wipe my lips off. I'm liking that. I think I need a little more of this on my nose. And I wanna do a inner corner highlight because I did not do one. We're gonna use this color. Do we like the blue? This right here? Yeah, let's try the blue. It's different. I guess it's like a purpley blue. I like that. It's not too much. That color is called Bliss. Bless your tart. All right, I'm gonna use this color right here, Deep Cocoa Matte, as my lip liner from House Labs. This is actually an eyeliner. I like the color for my lips. It's long lasting, it's creamy, and it's good for my complexion as a lip liner. I really love that. Now, I wanted to do her. So I'm gonna use the House Labs Le Monster Lip Crayon. This is the color Mahogany Matte. It's a very pigmented 
Feel Good Matte Lipstick. And now I'm gonna try this color Peach Matte in the center and see. Okay, so that color is very pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit of this concealer in the center. Only cause that's the look that I like. So, so pretty. Mm, a little bit more. Now what's so crazy is I do not have a, I don't have a lip gloss that I really love that's high in like, and I don't want to just pull something just to pull it. So I'm going to put a gloss on, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to be like, oh, this is one of the products. I'm going to put this on, I'm going to spray this because I just love the way the finish is when you do your makeup with the Morphe setting spray. <laughs> it just melds everything together and just gives everything a beautiful finish. Yeah, I can't think of any lip glosses that I have that I love. Like, I don't buy a lot of high-end lip glosses because they don't work as good to me as, as a cheaper lip gloss. Like, there's so many lip glosses that work so good that are like a fraction of the price. And I just, you know, like, I like a Fenty lip gloss, but they don't make me say, let me go spend $23 on one. Because there's nothing significant like that about it. Just in my opinion. So I love a good NYX gloss or a good, what else, NYX. Yeah, really NYX. NYX is really my favorite. I'm trying to think what other glosses do I like. Yeah, NYX is really my favorite gloss. Okay, so I sprayed the Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray on the face just to give it some life. I'm going to comb my hair and I'll be back to tell you everything that we use on our face. Okay guys, so this is what our final look is looking like. I love the makeup. I think it looks very pretty. Very pretty. And I'm just going to put a touch of this one on. This is Maybelline Peach. Okay. <laughs> Maybelline Peach. It tastes like peaches. It's good. Okay, so let me quickly go over everything that we use. I think the skin looks gorgeous. Everything is looking very, very pretty. We started with this Too Faced Super Fine Brow Detailer Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in the color Espresso. I love it. I think it looks wonderful. It's one of the better pencils that I have on the high-end side. So if you're looking for a pencil, this is it's a good one. Okay, then we have the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate. <laughs> I was going to say better than sex. Better than chocolate eyeshadow palette. This is what we are wearing on our eyes. I started off on camera, then I finished off camera, and this is the look that we came out with. It looks gorgeous. The shadows blended very well together. I actually would recommend this palette. If you're looking for a nice palette for the fall with some pops of color, some neutrals and some pops of color, you would be very happy with this palette. So I'm actually going to add that to my list because I never used it before today, but look at how beautiful the colors are. Very nice. Okay, then I use the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer. I love this primer. I had it in my arsenal. It's actually been a part of my collection for a while, and I never used it. And I pulled it out recently, and I love it. Like, had I known that it was so good, I would have used it a long time before now. So I really do enjoy that primer. It really looks good on the skin. Everything looks very good. I love what we got going on here tonight. I didn't really do a lot with my hair. I didn't curl it, but it still looks pretty good. I like it. So we are using the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. This is actually one of my favorite foundations. When I reach for a foundation, I like this. It gives a very a natural but dewy matte kind of look. It's very nice. It's long wearing and I just love it. It blended into the skin so gorgeously. It looks like skin and that's what I like about it. It's very much a skin like foundation. It feels like nothing on the skin once it's on and just look how skin like. It, it just looks beautiful. It looks like my skin only better so I enjoy it and I think you will too. If you have combination to oily skin 
and maybe even dry skin but with a lighter setting powder, I think that you'll be fine. We use these Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealers under our eyes. And I think it looks gorgeous. Look at how smooth our under eyes look. How just really nice. Like they look nice and natural. It doesn't look overdone. The coverage is nice, but it's not too much coverage. I just think it looks beautiful. So these are really good concealers. Don't sleep with them. Don't listen to what everybody tells you because these are really good concealers. It's all about the way that you put them on and you set them. I'm not saying that I have the best technique when it comes to blending and when it comes to concealers and all that, but I know what works for my oily textured skin. And that is what made me start this channel because I figured there were other people out there just like me that was like, what can I use? Like, is there really something that works for oily skin? And back before I started like really wearing makeup every day or wearing it and wanting to do a channel, which has been a very long time now, I was in search of the perfect foundation for dark skin. Yeah, it didn't turn orange, it wasn't too greasy. You didn't look like, if you didn't go to the mirror every 20 minutes that you was like a grease lick. So I'm very happy with a lot of these foundations that have come out lately and also just the products that you can put under them to keep your texture down, your oil down, and keep you looking like a person throughout the day. So yes, I love those concealers. They were my favorites during the summer, especially when I was wearing a lot of skin tints. I set my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder Dark Number Three. I set my under eyes with it. I set every place that I put concealer I use this and this is like one of my favorite favorite powders I love it then I use the Danessa Myricks evolution powder I've been on a search for a setting powder that is inclusive that really caters towards women of color I get tired of when I see a lot of these companies that when they do a deluxe size it's only in the two lighter colors it's never in a darker color so I've been on the search and I really enjoy this powder it definitely keeps the oil down has a skin looking gorgeous lifelike smooth I enjoy these powders I have it in four colors it's not as big as a Laura Mercier powder Laura Mercier you get let me see 29 grams which is one ounce and this you get 0.39 ounces 11 grams so it's like it's actually almost this is actually three times bigger this one is like 40 bucks and this one is like 20 something but I like it I'm gonna use it I'm gonna keep patronizing her company because I enjoy her products I use this Sephora matte powder foundation in color 56 8 in to bring the color back to my face it was actually a beautiful powder for that again I don't love powders as a foundation because I have oily skin and I feel like I have to set and then set again so I do like it though then I use this Charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin sunkiss glow bronzer this right here in deep number four and I really do like this bronzer it gives a nice amount of definition to the skin hopefully you guys like these products have you tried any of them I know I asked that before but now I'm going through all of them so you may be like oh yeah I did try that so let me know I use the NARS Laguna bronzer number eight it's one of my favorite bronzers like all of these products I recommend but this one gives just the, the most beautiful amount of redness and definition to the skin so it gives you that sun kiss glow just look how beautiful my skin looks it just gives a nice do you see that depth in that cheek yeah this you gotta have this like this you need you may not necessarily need this number eight if you're lighter than me you might want to go seven or six but this is gorgeous you don't want to be without that oh I use the Fenty full frontal mascara under my eyes not under my eyes in my lash line because I couldn't find my hella thick mascara they got packed it in my pocketbook or something like that but this is really good look what it did for my under eyes they're not the longest but look what it did for my lower lash line the lashes look good I try not to do too much under there because I don't want to get the spidery look but it give it gave just enough definition so I really like it I use this Dior rosy glow blush in the color coral on my cheeks along with the one size rich batch cheek clapper 
3D Blush Trio. I really enjoy this blush. It's one of my favorites. It gives just enough color and definition to the cheeks without being overpowering. So I like most of his blushes and I like the fact that they do not accentuate the pores. So that's wonderful. I use this House Labs highlighter in the color Fire Opal and I have it on my cheeks, on my nose, on my forehead. It's wonderful. I like her highlighters. Most of the ones that I have, I want to say she has like 12 or 14 shades of highlighter. I have four of them and I love them and I'm probably going to pick up one or two more during the sale. And I want to say, guys, that's everything. If I missed anything that I've used in the video, I will definitely put it in the description box. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. And make sure you put on your notifications so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are really showing up and holding me down. Thank you so much. That's it, guys. So hopefully you like this makeup. Let me know. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this makeup. And I will see you guys in the next video. You're going to be seeing my face quite a lot in the next week. Let me say that. In the next week, you're going to see my face quite a lot. Okay. Talk to you guys soon. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot something. The Danessa Myricks Beauty. Danessa Myers Beauty Set It in Forever Mist. I use this on my face as my setting spray. This is a nice matte setting spray. The skin looks dewy now because I put the Morphe Continuous Mist on top of it. This will have your makeup last all day. It's really a good product. I enjoy using it. I actually have another bottle that I bought. She had a sale like in July or something like that and I bought another bottle. But it's really good. Okay, that is it now. I will talk to you guys in the next video.